Right, Sam? Yes. I've been, I've been waiting on this. You have indeed. You've been... Uh... I, I've been chomping at the bit since it came into the studio. Guys, what we've got is the Iron Kingdom's Unleashed role-playing adventure kit, isn't it? Mm, yeah. Uh, so, some of you know, we're all big role-players here, but we don't always get a chance to do well, this. Not, so. not all of us are big role-players. Well, yeah. Lloyd, Lloyd, we're trying to poke with a pointy stick to get them to do it one day. Yeah, yeah. and uh, Warren, we're telling to leave the shark at us alone. <laughs> Well, no, not in this. This, you can probably use it. I don't think Privateer have made a shark rhinoceros just yet. Privateer, if you would, please. <laughs> anyway, can you tell us more about the adventure kit, Justin? All right, well, let, let's get straight into it. Basically, this is the flip side to the Iron Kingdoms RPG, where you've been, you've been role-playing as one of the War Machine factions. So Signar, Kedar, all, all the good, good all the good, All the good tacky guys. Now you're going to start role-playing as the Trollbloods, the Pharaoh, yeah, you know, all, all that, the, the more dark and nasty stuff. Yeah, that's the side of um, Iron Kingdoms I'm more interested in. Mm. I'm not that keen on the War Machine factions, but I do like a lot of the Hordes ones. I love the Trollbloods. Okay, I was, I was going to guess Trollbloods, yeah. simply because they're, they're blue, they're angry, they're essentially Scottish, and they have great honking ass axes. I almost said the other thing. Yeah, yeah. Moving on. John Warren's not here. Moving on. Have a field day. Moving on. First up, <laughs> we have your, your rule book. This is basically going to give you everything you need to start playing the game. So it's nice, it's handy, and it's, it's full color. It's really well laid out. You've got all your abilities and stuff in here, all your special rules, all your magic, uh, even rules for war beasts. Yeah, that's but, the sort uh, of things I'm interested in. You won't get war beasts in this particular adventure because this is a, a preset adventure. So this this isn't the entire kit to get you up and running in the world. This is a sort of a taster, an yeah. adventure set where if you're not that used yeah. to role playing and you want to get into it, this is a great little kit for you. I believe that this book is actually free to download on Drive Through RPG. So the the actual rule book. Now this this one. The, yes, yes, yes. The I mean the rule book for yes the Unleashed Adventure kit. I think so. Yes. Okay, guys. Uh, Go have a look for it. If Sam's wrong, feel free to lynch him whenever you see him at salute. Yeah. Uh, the next thing you get is your scenario book. Now, this is going to be for your DM, because this is what's going to take you through the adventure. And look at this. Look at the artwork. I'm sorry, I, lo I love this troll blood guy. Oh. He is my favourite character from this so far. He's the little pygmy troll, isn't he? Yes, he's a, a pygmy troll chief whose uh, village has been... Basically ransacked by Morg, the evil warlord of our story. Uh, we then have our other party members, but the artwork's fantastic in this. Before I we go on to it. the party members and everything, what is the story of this scenario? I know you've been reading this. Basically, the evil warlord Morg has dammed up the local river. So, basically, river's drying up, the local area doesn't have water, people are starting to die, and so we have a group of adventurers who are going to find the source, Figure out what's going on, and hopefully stop him giving everyone a bad day because he has one or two nasty plans up his sleeve, which include explosives, lots and lots of explosives. I like this plan. I like this plan a lot. It's an evil plan. It's a very <laughs> evil plan. But basically, if you're new to being a DM, this one book is going to be your lifeline for the entire story. It even say you're say it was you me. I'm yeah. not used to being a DM. We've just finished our first fight, and okay. The bodies are dead, they're lying around you, it's all blood, guts, you've chopped them to bits, you burnt your party member. Yes. Yeah, whoops. <laughs> whoops, 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 whoops. But at the end of it, it says, here, here, don't say that, Liam. D&D yeah. <laughs> no, &D flashbacks here. Yeah, we, we, used to, uh, we used to play D&D &D in a group. We had a mage named Gary. He was a fire mage, and he liked to heal people with fire. Mm. I would think I was in the middle of combat once, I was surrounded and just went, Do not worry, I will heal you with fire! Targets me, kills about two of the things around me and leaves me burning. <laughs> My poor little dwarf. But anyway, back to this. At the end of combat, this will actually give you little hints as to stuff you can do, you know. Yeah. So, uh, say, like I said, after the first encounter, bodies are dead, cut up, bloody, nasty. You can turn to one of your party members who's a bone grinder and say to him, look, do you want to maybe have a look at the body, see if there's anything your magical ability can do? And you can actually make meat silencers for your long range guy, which is Long Chops, who's the gator man. So it will help you a hell of a lot yeah. if you're new to being a DM. Now, speaking as someone who does DM on occasion, yeah. uh, set scenario books are great. If you're struggling to think of a story for yourself, 
these usually tend to be a lot of fun. Yeah. And yeah. They, they prompt you to move development along as yeah. well. It, it, develop, it can prevent things devolving into chaos unless you want that. Uh, again, the, the best DMs I've ever had have always allowed things to evol yeah. devolve into chaos. Now, I need that back because there's oh, one more thing sorry. I need to show off, which is at the back of it, it has one thing that everybody always needs, which is your little monster manual. So it's really handy, gives you all their stats, beautiful artwork, and shows you exactly what the miniatures are in the set. Yeah. So you're not sitting there going, is it that one? Is it that one? No, you just look here and it's just, ah, it's that and that. Okay, I know I need those and those for this uh, scenario. Mm. Nice and handy. As anyone here knows, I love flicking through monster manuals. But there's always fascinating bits of fluff and story with them as well. Whatever floats your book, mate. No. But no, scenario book, perfect for the starter DM. Well, perfect for any DM in general. Now, we've got a little bit of advertising stuff here. Uh, so it's showing more stuff coming out. Oh, actually, that's a nice little set there. The, hmm, the DM set with the character sheets, which is quite cool. See if I can find it on... The, there we go. That's quite a cool little set. I'll have to keep an eye out for that, see if we can get it in. But with the way this is laid out, I do want to take us through this some evening. Okay, that'll be interesting. Okay, now, the other thing you get, nice handy little tape measure. It's a tape measure. Yeah, it's... If just... you're brand new to role playing and you don't have one, ta-da! Okay, uh, next up we have our character sheets. Now, I'll not go through all of them. I will go through my favourite one once I find oh, it. Oh, yes. So... Who's uh, that? Who's that? Who's that? I've already shown you. I like the, the Trollkin. That's yours, uh, I believe. Yeah, this guy's my favourite. Uh, if you can just put There's that under mine. the cat. Yeah. Uh, so, put him under the camera. So Sam likes Lurk, who is yeah. a, a bog trog bone grinder. So he's sort of a, uh, a mystic. Yeah, he's a shaman. Yeah, he's the guy that's going to cut out your spleen and turn it into something useful. That's the thing I like, because mm. I've played a lot of D&D games that devolve into that anyway. But his mechanics encourage you to make things out of your defeated enemies. Yes. That, that, Little fetishes and stuff. It's great. Yes, or a meat silencer made from your opponent's liver. You're really loving that meat silencer, aren't you? I, I, I'm sorry. It's just it's the idea of this this creepy little frogman going up to our Gitterman character Long and going, chops. "Here, I made something for you. I made something for you. Here, here." That was the scariest thing I have ever seen. Okay, uh, that's, get why, on. that's why I'm a good role player. <laughs> What's your character then? Who uh, is your character? My character is Gulen Oakbreaker. He's a, uh, a pygmy troll chieftain who's out trying to prove that his people don't need to go to the bigger trolls for help. Okay. He's basically fighting for his honour. He's got his, his little guy knuckle on top. Yeah, that, that's I why like. I love him. I love the idea that as he gets hurt, he can spawn these teeny weeny little things. Oh, is that an actual mechanic of his? Yes, he, he actually can do that. Oh, I, I so knew he, he was he, accompanied he, by Knuckle, but I He starts know. with Knuckle, but as he takes damage, there is a chance that it can spawn a new one. The funny thing is... I like that. Yeah, because they're small, they, yeah. they echo their creator, but they're not exactly too smart. So I, it's absolutely brilliant. You then come to your stat sheet. This is all pre-laid out for you. You have nothing to do with this. Sit down, read it, and play with it. So you've got all your stats up the top. So who you are, what your archetype is, what your race is, you know, all the rest. You then come into your weapons. Everything is really simple in the system, guys, because it's off a 2d6 system. So it's really? 2d6 plus my stat. Okay, I have never played Iron Kingdoms, I have to admit. It's, it's not usually one... It's incredibly yeah. easy to get into. 15 minutes, okay. you are up and running. Okay. That and your DM can just have fun with it. You know, oh, you're... <clears throat> let, let me go for one here. You're trying to seduce a, uh, a local wench in the tavern. Of course, everyone knows how sexy uh, pygmy trolls are. Yeah, well, he's, he's, he's drunk. <laughs> right, so we we'll go off your great weapon stat. Give me a roll. Great weapon stat for seduction. <laughs> he has a great weapon stat. Yeah, for a seduction roll. Ooh. Okay. Uh, I, I hear ladies like great weapons. <laughs> so I want to be around you when you're out <laughs> on the town. But no, it's, 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 it's really clear. You've got all your abilities down the side here, so it's all really clearly laid out and explained for you. Yeah. And on the back, you've got a nice little cheat sheet for all your, sh your feats and stuff, so you're not having to worry. So you've got your pig whelps and things mm. nice and handy. 
on the front you've got all everything you need to know about how you're interacting with the party you know so yeah what type do, of do i like you lurk am i going to want to punch long chops in the jaw you know that <laughs> kind of stuff yeah it, it's nice it's light and it's easy it gives you a good flavor of where you're coming from and what you think of each character okay. and why you're actually on this adventure you know okay. so you each have your own reason for being on the adventure your own goals and stuff so there is a little bit of backstabbery where if I know what your goal is and I've we've been playing through and you've been yeah. annoying me, I am going to screw you over. Guaranteed. Wonderful. Wonderful. Yeah. Next up, we come to the game tiles. You get a lot of these in this because this is a combat role playing game. This yeah. It's not pen and paper, so it is a well, little it is bit different. Pen and paper, but yeah. No, no, no. It's it's, it's more it's, on... it's more combat orientated, which is something I like. It's something I tend to avoid in, in really? role-playing games. Yeah, I tend to prefer the pure pen and paper and imagination, which is why I like World of Darkness is one of my favourite role-playing mm. systems. I mean, I, I don't know. I, I like getting my minis down on the table, but that's, that's the war gamer in me. So these are really nicely detailed cards in the, uh, in the set. This is going to let you build your entire world of where you're fighting and what's going on. And... The great thing is, with that little scenario book, you're going to know exactly what you're putting together and where, because it gives you pre-laid out maps and stuff to show you what's going on. Yeah, that is a pretty cool development. It means you're avoiding just um, it avoids simple, random yeah, layouts. And you know, it's, it's line giving you pre-generated well. stuff. But whenever you actually come to play Iron Kingdoms Unleashed on your own, whenever you pick up the big rule book, you have these. Yeah, and you can start using them to actually lay stuff out and already have a nice little terrain set. It to should work from. look great. Yeah. Now, you've got some that are blank yeah. fields, a bit of forest. Yeah. This is the river. This plays a big part really? in your story. That's the river. You're gonna, that's going to play a big-ass part in the story because... Yeah, it's been damned, I guess. It's been damned, but it's, it's also more doing nasty stuff to it from what's behind the dam. You've also got little choke points and stuff, more river. It's yeah, a makes, really well thought yeah. out plan because yeah. this it, will let you build a nice big map it makes for ah, some very strategic and tactical layouts it gives you the ability to do the layouts you know so that you're not just having you remember one of the old rule out sheets that you would dry on or yeah. draw on with a water based marker now that can be pretty cool and it does allow you for a, a good variety but this will look better on the table Th this is eye candy yeah. i mean like your, your players are going to look at this and just imagine themselves as gulen standing there with his big axe going right let's have you okay you know. speaking of gulen there's the miniatures i miniatures so we'll start off we have long chops uh i Our love this gator model. man sniper hmm. he's really cool single piece mini now, yes, it's, it's game piece plastic, um, is what I'm going to call this, because it's a yeah. little bit flexible. Yeah, it's a bit rubbery. Yeah, but the detail's great on it. Yeah, I you think know, that's for, a great For model. something that essentially is a game piece, the detail is fantastic. I would not be surprised to see these turn up in people's hordes forces. Yeah. We then have our, our little Niss lady, who's got beautiful big spears on her back, nice big ritual dagger. And the one thing I really like about this, your arcs actually do count in oh, this. So yes. on the bottom, you've actually got two little nubs there that actually show the arc of the character. So there's yeah. going to be no argument. That's a very nice little touch. Yeah. We then have your favorite, Lurk. Ah, there he is. He turned out really, really bog nicely. Trog. Yes, yes. I know, Sam, you want to be a bog trog. You're about the right size for it. Yeah. <laughs> but again, fantastically detailed. And he's got all his little, his ritual blade, his, I don't know, is this a... A skull rattle of some sort. Yeah, his little friend. bone fetishes and all that. Yeah, so you can stand there rattling it going oogie boogie boogie. I will do that in the <laughs> RPG. I will, if you're playing him, I will make you go oogie boogie boogie. Oogie boogie boogie! <laughs> but no, it's beautiful. We then have my favourite Gulen. Yeah. With his big axe, knuckle, his little axe, and another one through the belt. So these are good enough to be painted up. Mm. More than good enough to be painted up, and I think they would look great if you did. Yeah, they... It would definitely suit a paint job. Mm. But again, if you're a role player and you're not used to being a modeler, ta-da, it's, it's all there for you. Yeah. It's pre-done. It's great. Uh, we then have this little guy who any Horde player will actually recognize him because he's, he's actually one of the Faro characters oh, in the main book. Oh, he's a main Faro character? Well, not a main character. Yeah, he, he's, he's sort of the, the Igor to the, the Faro's ah, Frankenstein I character. See. So I see. he's Martha. Which is... It's cool. It's nice to see the main characters coming in. It's the thing I love about these role-playing games is that with a little bit of tweaking, you can just port your characters from one to the other. 
which is something we actually did when we were living in England. I had a, uh, a little Cadoran sniper chick. Yeah. Who I role played in the Iron Kingdoms, but with a couple of rules tweak, I had her out on the table with me, which I thought was great fun. Okay. You know, so I, I love being able to cross pollinate like that. Yeah, it's a that, great move. And anytime we needed uh, monsters, it was literally just going through the, the hordes of the War Machine collection to see what we wanted. Have we got in m many monsters in there? Oh, we do. But before that, we have Morg. Ah. This is our big bad. This is the guy who's doing it all. And he's, he's a great many. You know, is that, I think that's a gun, gun axe he has. May I? Yep. <laughs> gun axe, yeah? Yeah, that's a gun axe. Gun axe. <laughs> Uh, we've then got a couple of uh, your more standard guys. These are big melee guys. Oh, this one's yeah. a little bit that, limp. Yeah, that, that's okay. That, that it's it, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah. There we go. It's a problem when they get older. No, no, these are brand new. <laughs> See, not not enough yeah. experience. Not enough experience. But let, let let's let's leave off those jokes because we've made enough of them. But we've never made enough of them. Again, these are your uh, your Faro, your pigmen. So one, I would say if Warren was playing Horde, this would be his faction. He would play the Pigmen, yeah? Yeah, 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 quite possibly. Yeah, we've then got another set of our Pigmen who are the ranged variant, who are really cool. Yeah. They've all got scavenged rifles. And again, in that little scenario book, whenever you're setting up for your scenarios and stuff, it actually describes what's happening to you. It gives you sort of a little paragraph to read out to let people know what's going on, or it allows you to paraphrase it. So mm. you, you can have a little play with it and see what's going on. That, and if one of your party members is really acting up, you can just go, you know what? Roll for trip. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, trust me, we used to have a kid that play, role played with us. He was really annoying. Every time he started to act up, our DM just went, King, roll for trip. Then in a natural 20 not to fall flat on his face, face and knock his ass out. It was great. You've also got a couple of little razor boars. So... <laughs> So there's enough monsters in here to make the fights and encounters There's enough varied. to make it feel heroic in actually beating them. Although, uh, the one thing I will say is, I will allow these to be turned into bacon. <laughs> just, just, yeah. Just for a plus one strength modifier. And the last thing you get is a handy little set of dice. Yeah. But I mean, like, I really want to break this out. I really want to get us sat down on a gaming day and play through it just because it looks so much fun. What, what do you think, Sam? Well, as I said, I'm not usually one for combat role-playing games, but this set does have everything you need to get started. Yep. And I do love the way this game encourages the savage side of gaming, which yeah. I've seen so many games devolve into anyway. Yeah, yeah. So I'm definitely tempted to give this a go. Yeah, I think one of the best ones I ever did was uh, one of our party members in Paranoia got hurt. Uh, uh, everybody was turning around going, who's the medic? Who's the medic? I was the leader. Guys, seriously, someone has to be a medic here. Tell us who you are. I hadn't looked at my sheet. I was the medic. <laughs> Whoops. Right, anyway, guys, that is Iron Kingdoms Unleashed, the adventure uh, game kit. Yep. I love it. I love it. If you get your chance, have a go at this because it looks brilliant. Myself and Sam are going to move on here, and we'll see you again in the next video. See you.